something to do with the flogging we tour. She's still going on about that. Well, relax, comrade, relax. They're going to hang us in those gallows now. It's not going to come to that, mate. It will if they figure out who we are. Oh, don't you worry, you pretty little head. You just leave it to me, all right? Leave it to you. That's worked well for us so far, hasn't it? Well, you're not shooting horses anymore. No, 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 now I'm in jail. So things are definitely looking up. What are you doing? Where is it? Where is it? Leave him alone. Stay out, boy. I said, let it go. He's off. Take your skull. No, no, he's off. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. He's okay. Take a step back. One flocking's not enough for you, mate. I had it under control. That's a bloke that you don't want to scuffle with, mate. Who is that? Who's that? That's Mad Dog Morgan, that's who that is. Wherever he goes, death's never far behind him. Yeah. Come on. Butler's hard man doing with the superintendent. What do you reckon, Jack? I reckon this land is worth something to somebody, Cap. Gold. Whatever it is, it was worth killing old George for one gun closer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We've got to bail Dan and Conrad first. Bail them? What, 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 what are you talking about? Traps did a sweep last night. Got them both. Gold in jail. <sighs> Useless. You already did that bit. Don't miss much, do you? No. Nope. Well, you gotta work the polish into the leather. That takes time. Here we go. Free trip to Goulburn. <sighs> Didn't have to do that. I know. What do you got for me, Scanlon? Fair day's work for a fair day's pay. <laughs> and a sense of humour this morning. You must have got lucky. Any pillow talk to pass on? It's none of your business. I'll decide what's my business. You'll tell me what I want to know. Or I'll have your ticket of leave revoked. If you don't like it, you can hand yourself in at the jail when you deliver our friend over there. Think about that on the way to Goldman. <laughs> he doesn't look that mad to me. Just trust me. <laughs> I'm trusting you again, am I? If you know what's good for you. You got something in mind? Hey, hey, don't hey, worry about it. I'll tell you later. Get your hands off me. Lying dog. Don't give it to me. I'll share it all with you. All of what? The gold. Hold out on me, will you? Hey, look at that. 
Never did you know I'm gonna be called. Do that! Break up that fight! Fight! Fighting in the yard! Young fella, come with me! Looks like the brakes are boys! Dan! I'm being fooled, Dan! Come on! Come on! Come on! Don't let him get it. What? Don't let him get the gold. The, the gold. No, that, I'm listening. I'm listening. Tell me, mate. I'm Ezra Wall. Ezra. Right. Oh, Devil's Gully. Devil's Gully. There's a map in your mate's pocket. There's a map. Hey, no, 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 He's gone. Aiding in an escape, a fray, assault, murder. Can't say I didn't see this day coming. Mick, Mick, I didn't kill anyone. You gotta believe me, mate. Either way, there's nothing much I can do for you now. All right then. Well, you can just say goodbye to the gold out there if I'm gonna be locked up in here. <laughs> what gold? You see that bloke over there? Have a look. Mate, that's Ezra Walton. Sydney Gold Deposit Raid, Ezra Walton. And dead men tell no tales. What now? We get him out. Yeah, and no, I figured that much, Cap. How? Dynamite through the back wall. At night. Hello? Daniel, me boy. Scandling. Should've known. Just to go, Jack. So what did you say to him to make him let me out? You're a double dealer and scum, a man of no character. <laughs> Wanted for crimes too numerous to mention. The whole town would show up for you hanging. <laughs> and they bought that. <laughs> yeah. Didn't take too much convincing. Well, I'm actually a much-loved figure in Hopeton. Where's the gold? I don't know. But there's a map. I, I just don't have it on me, I swear. That's... Who does? Conrad. He took it with him when he broke out of jail with... Um, Mad Dog Morgan. You let the kid out there with Mad Dog Morgan? Well, should have let you rot. No, no, it's all right. He, they're heading for um, Devil's Gully. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mick! Mick! Hey, what are you doing? You can't just leave me here. Partner? I'll be right back. You just sit tight. Partner. What's the hurry? <laughs> oh, Jack. Come on. Come on, get up. Come on. 
Hey, Daniel. Uh, you keep wrestling with those ropes, you're going to give yourself a hernia, boy. Can you just get me out of this? Hey, Dan. Where's Conrad? So how'd you get the name Mad Dog? <laughs> hey. I crack safes. They call me the breaker? No. <laughs> I steal horses. Call me a horse thief? No. I bite one ear off one bloke. <laughs> Fancy a drink? Oh, Sly like grog. You think that's a good idea? Why not? We're escaped convicts. We're free men with the wind at our backs and the law at our heels. We ought to celebrate. Are you an idiot? Why'd you let the boy take off with him? I didn't let him, Cap. First thing I know, he's just running for the gate. He actually left me. You know why they call him Mad Dog? This is the sort of man rides into town, kills the women, has his way with the livestock. Okay, Cap, that's not getting us anywhere. Boys, we've got to move. Scanlon's already got a head start on us. Well, I suppose that's my fault too, is it? Oh, Dan. We've got to get the boy, Jack. Oh, you know what? We've got to go after that gold. We're going after both. Well, that's just going to be a waste of time, Jack, because Conrad and his new mate, they could be anywhere by now. Devil's Gully. One right in, one right out. We'll shh, find him. Traps. That's the first of them. It won't be the last, Jack. Let's go. Another round, Barman. Sorry, sir. Coins first. <sighs> Got any beans? No. No, I'm skin. Oh. Right. Who wants to buy a belt? Come on. Finest hide at a reasonable price. You, sir, you look like you could do with some reinforcing. <laughs> no, thanks. Uh, yes, I probably could, uh, Mr. Morgan. Whatever you think's a reasonable price will do nicely. Just what's fair, nothing more, nothing less. Now, that's very generous of you, sir. Drinks for everybody! Hey! Come on! Hey! Good man! You're a great salesman. Well, I couldn't see you go without, could I? Not now that we're mates. I mean, you wouldn't see me go without, would you? No, no of course, course you not. wouldn't. Well, let's see what they're all so hot for. Hey. So what's that say? The Devil's Gully. The Devil's Gully? I know where that is. Good half day's ride, good a hard yakka, and we will be flash, young Conrad. Well, maybe we could do with some help. I've got some mates. Mates, whoa, 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 whoa. we got all the mates we need right here. Warms the heart, that does. But I'll be taking that map. Map? What map? I didn't knock old Ezra to come away empty handed and give it over. Give it over! Fast learner, son. Fast learner, good mate. I don't reckon there's nothing we can't do together. What do you say? I say let's get rich. That's what I say. Come on. Good hey, morning, sunshine. What are you doing? Got us some breakfast here. Get this in here. Oh, what here, is here. that? No, Come no, on. I'm all right, thank you. All right. Don't know what you're missing. No. I was thinking we should swing back through Hopeton. Pick up some supplies and a couple of guns. I got those friends I was talking about. Friends? We don't need any more friends. I already told you that. I'm only talking about a few blocks to back us up. Friends? All right, let me tell you about friends. Friends, they promise you everything, deliver nothing. Friends, they desert you. They stab you in the back. So, where are these friends of yours now? 
Isn't that? That's right, but I'm here, aren't I? And I'll make you a solemn oath. What's that? I'll never stab you in the back. When the time comes, I'll look you right in the eye. That's friendship. I can see the look on your face. Sure you won't eat something? No. <laughs> Go on, drop it. The gun. Drop the gun. Aren't you taking us back into Goulburn? You said I was taking you back in. You're robbing us. Blow me down with a feather. A dirty trap. You know what's good for you? You'll clear out. Because why even sleep here behind me? You still owe me breakfast. Morning. Morning, Mr. He Mark. still hasn't arrived. I'm sorry? Mr. Harris. There's no telegraph from Sydney, no word from the road. He's probably just taking his time along the way. He knew about the killings. He went to get proof, and now he's missing. And now is not the time for rumour and innuendo. It's not innuendo. Whatever it is, it's beneath you. I'm sure Mr. Harris is fine. Good morning, Mrs. Barrett. Are you making a deposit or taking out a loan? How is this any of your concern? I have the utmost concern for every member of my community. And I hear you've taken an interest in old George Jenkins' farm. Oh, you here, do you? Well, after all, I am Commissioner of Crown Lands. Good morning, Mr. Fife. No, 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 it's not a good idea. Oh, oh, don't get your hand away. I am still. You're still drunk. I'm not. Drunk. I'll get it. Hold oh, still. Don't move. Hold it. Pull it. Break, you stupid piece of... You boys look like you could use a hand. Who are you? Filthy, yeah. thieving, two-bit, lying, no good. No, I'm sort of getting the feeling, Daniel, that you don't like the man. pig bellied yeah. ass. Yeah. Scanlon's only in on this because you opened your big mouth. I did what I had to do to save my neck. At least I didn't run out of my mate. Yeah? I'm not sure that I did either. Must be nice having friends. Oh, no, listen, the longer you two stand there arguing, the further away Scanlon's getting, all right? We've still got half a map, right? Means we're halfway there. Oh, well, who's it going to go? Because there's five of us and three horses. See you in the gully, boys! Two horses. Hey, where do you think you're going? Started this. I'm gonna finish it. Oh, go on, get after him, Jack. Hey, hey. What do you think you're doing? Looks like I'm walking. What is it? You smell that? What? It's gold. We're close. You might get the horses a rest, eh? Hey, Conrad. Why don't you go get some water, mate? We'll check the map. Hey, you and Pretty Boy get the water. We'll check the map. He's not your friend, you know that, right? All I know is he doesn't treat me like a kid. Conrad! It's a fair way out of town. It's not that far. 
And there's a creek and lots of grass. Hmm. All good. Why is that good again? Well, why be extorted by stock owners when you can do it all? You could run a few hundred head of cattle, some sheep. Perfect for a butcher shop. So now you know. Still none of your concern? I'm just here to offer you some friendly advice. Well, when I want your advice, I'll ask for it. I was chatting to Mr. Davies at the bank. He tells me that you're overextended. Excuse me? Oh, please, don't be embarrassed. I admire your spirit. The first rule of sound business is that your reach shouldn't exceed your grasp. An undertaking like this requires some experience. Well, everybody has to start somewhere. It would be a pity if your start were to cost you everything. Thank you for your advice, Mr. Fife. But I'll worry about that. I don't mean to burden you, but I do think that George's passing should be marked with a proper obituary. I know, and I'm sorry, but with Mr. Harris not here, I can't go to print. He wasn't a saint, but he didn't deserve that. And the people of this town should know that if it can happen to George, it can happen to them. The police might stand idly by, but not everything in this town is rotten. Hey, 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 wait, 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 it's Mr. Harris's horse. You ever wonder why they're always laughing? Uh, no. No, I don't. It's like they know something. <laughs> this is the way it's supposed to be, you know. Out here, God's own country, on the hunt, two good mates. Yeah. <laughs> You've gone far enough. Your guns. Slowly. Yeah, the other half of that map. Can I ask you a question? How do you get that horse to stay so quiet? I knew you couldn't stay straight, Mick. Bully for you, I'm getting the other half of that map. Well, in case you haven't noticed, I don't think you're in any position to negotiate here. Who's negotiating? I get that map, or the boy dies. And you'll die in your saddle. Maybe. But so will the boy. You willing to reset, Jack? Come on. Stay here all day with sitting ducks. I can live with that. Shit, dog, eh? No offense. And the other half of the map, I'll be on my way. Tell you what, Mick. Why don't you come down here and get it? What's she doing, Jack? You'll always be a crook like the rest of us, won't you, Mick? I'm nothing like you. No, you're right there. Because we don't hide behind a uniform. There is another difference. Yeah, what's that? You'll all end up on the end of a rope. I'll end up with Mary. Mary wouldn't give you the time of day. She gave me all the time I wanted last night. And this morning. Jack. I'm all for a bit of madness, it's good for the soul, but we haven't got the time. So, who am I going to shoot first? Hey! Didn't think you'd discern me again, did you? <laughs> the map. Give it up. Not worth getting shot for. Go on, chance your arm, boy. Oh, go on. Come on. I'll find you. You better hope you don't. Right, pick it up. Come on, mount up. Go, get it and go. You two, kneel down. Kneel! Get down, kneel! Wait, what are you doing? In for a penny, in for a pound. No, no, we've got the map. Leave them, it's more trouble than it's worth. Oh, no, no trouble. No trouble at all. Mad dog. 
Mad Dog, look at me. Don't shoot them. Right then, boyo. For your one. Because we're friends. Get going. Come on, move. Let's go. I told you not to come back. But it gets you down here too good now, eh? what he was up to, but he wouldn't say anything. Excuse me. Excuse me, what's going on? What do you think you're doing? Sorry, I got my orders. What is it? Notice of closure on health grounds from the Commissioner of Crown Lands. Well, he's not going to last out there with that animal. We're not far, we can get down there on foot. You men hold fast. State your business. These men are in my custody. Sergeant, I didn't see you there. I managed to detain them, but Mad Dog Morgan escaped with the horses. He went that way. Leave me some manacles and get after him. What is it? Well, we have strict orders to take custody of anyone, Captain. Then you can tell Superintendent Fuller you let Mad Dog Morgan slip through our fingers. I'll stay here with these men and you can come back for us. Go! We're wasting time! We should go. I don't think we should go anywhere. There's going to be more of them. You need me. Fire! No, no, you can't go. We can't do this. I see I've got your attention. I'll write to the governor. Well, you could do that, or you could go into business with me. As it stands, I don't have a business. Your shop will be open at the end of the day, revarnished. I only want to see you do well. You've got a strange way of showing it. Hopeton stands or falls on the shoulders of a few. You're one of those few. I just want to steer you in the right direction. Do you? There's another parcel of land at Stony Creek, far more appropriate to your purposes. For a modest share, I could help you with the purchase price. It means you wouldn't have to borrow so much. Thank you, I can buy my own land. And I can choose it too. You're an impressive woman. I'm a lot of things, Mr Fife, but a fool isn't one of them. Miss Amelia. Why are you walking? Uh, more importantly, what are you doing out here in this track alone? It's Mr. Harris, the editor of the Gazette. Yeah. I think something terrible has happened to him. What? You're out here alone looking for him? Oh, I think I'd better give you a hand, eh? If that's all right. That'd be very kind of you. Good. Look at this. <laughs> it's got to be it. Oh, let's get rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, maybe it's in the trunk. Dick, dick, dick. It could be in there. Got to be. Come on. It's too hard. We need something to dig with. Well, I'll find something. You dig. Dig hard. Yeah. Doing? Looking for something to dig with. I'll just find something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, come on, go. Uh. Uh. 
Whoa. What's all that? I don't know, miss. I listen. I think we... I think... Amelia, I think we should... Amelia. What have you found? Good afternoon. What are you doing here? No, no, no. It's nothing you need to worry about. Well, Mr. Harris Amelia, is missing, and I think. Please just stand back. Who you is don't that? want to see it. Is it him? Answer me. Is it Mr. Harris? Amelia, get up! Amelia, please! please. Get up. People are dying, and you are doing nothing about it. Why? Suppose you're in on it too, are you, Mick? In on what? The land grab for the gold. Don't know what you're talking about. I know about it, all right? Fuller working with the Butler gang, Seth Wiley. All of it. Glad one of us does. Oh, come on. Don't even try and tell me you're not in bed with those dogs. I'm not in bed with anyone, Jack. Well, that's not entirely true. I'd look you in the eye when the time come. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Good lad! Go on over to the old mad dog, eh? Let's see how you go now. Forever, boy. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Kind of gone far. We're all gonna die one day. Just as today's your day. Conrad! I almost wish I didn't have to kill you! You're special! Very special! I'll be taking that. Should have stayed where I left you, kid. So you did find us. You're a man of your word. And so am I. We don't owe him any favors, Jack. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing, Mad Dog? Jack, old son. You're just in time. Don't kill him for me. This pox-ridden trap. He muscled in on your girl. Yeah, well, that's my battle, isn't it? You're a goner for her, aren't you? You'd take me on for this price, Snake? I don't want to. Trust me, I don't. But I will. And if you're missus, I won't. Not bad. Not too bad. Mr. Harris was an important member of this community that he should be murdered, that my daughter should see it. It was unfortunate. You were brought in to clean up this element. And I am, but there was an escape from Golden Jail no. yesterday. No. And... He had been dead for days. Your men said. 
Well, I can't comment on that. What can you comment on? They killed him. They shot him down like some animal. Uh, I'm sorry, they? Who are you talking about? I mean, if you have names, you give them to me. I'll write them down. I'll start with the butlers. Mr. Harris knew they were tied up with the killings on Old East Road. They probably killed him for it. The butlers, superintendent, this is exactly the sort of element I was just talking well, about. Well, it's the first I'm hearing of it. But I will look into it. Make sure you do. I want answers. And soon. This has got to stop. I am not going to let this go. I will ask you. For the last time, please, Amelia, stay out of it. I don't want anything to happen to you. You're cutting me in. Yeah, well, you earned it. As soon as we divvy up, you can take a share. And go. If, if, that, if that's what you want to do. You are the best mate I've ever had. Let me hug you. <laughs> you tried to shoot me, but I didn't, did I? And that says a lot. No luck for you today. Did all right the other night, though, eh? <laughs> oh, I reckon you might want to leave that one alone, Mad Dog. I can't believe you didn't let me plug this dung heap. Or maybe you didn't want to explain yourself to your woman, eh, Jack? Why start now? What did you say? Let it go, Jack. Let it go, mate. And they call me Mad Dog. What about this bloke? Easy to ride into town when you're feeling a bit lonely. It's harder to stick around. Oh, he's laughing at you, Jack. You don't know what you're talking he, about. He's laughing at you. I know I'm not afraid to be there when the sun comes up. You're lying, thieving scum, Jack. What's a man without honour? <laughs> Be ready for you. He's mad. He's not stupid. All right? Don't worry about him, mate. We'll catch up with him another day, and when we do, we'll have each other's backs, all right? Right? Right. There was a fortune in that back. Yeah. I reckon you need to start choosing your mates a bit more carefully. Yeah. I've been thinking that for a while. <laughs> Come on, mate. You let me rot for three years in jail! You went to jail because you're second rate, Nick. <laughs> That's why you'll always be Mary's second choice. Sure, you keep telling yourself that, Jack. Is that enough? <laughs> Mad Dog's done about. The gold. It's gone. <clears throat> what now, Jack? You ask yourself, Jack. Guess we all make mistakes. What have you done now? You were lonely, you gave into it. I understand. We could put it behind us. We could start a new life. Somewhere no one knows us. Something real. I have a life here. We'll make a better one. Something real together. 
Don't do that. Don't make promises you're not going to keep. I can keep it. I can. I'll get real work. I'll, I'll, I'll farm. But you have to choose. Then I choose him. Just tell me one more thing. Tell me you don't love me. I don't love you. You're out to do this? I mean, what else would you do, Jack? Prospect, open up a shop. You'd nick the third customer that ever came in. You love this. You ready? Count of three. Three. Yes. Don't move. I just want to talk. Nice and easy now. No need for bloodshed. Now tell us what you know about the killings on the Old East Road. Fuller must have known Brian to him, Dad. How do you figure that? Well, this is his handiwork. Unless we stop him, the killing's not done, Dad. The only question is, who's next? <laughs>